Hello, hello loves, Coach Kara here. So today we are here with another relationship or marriage topic. And so today I wanted to touch on this subject because while there has been an uptick in revelations on this particular matter. So I just thought I'd go ahead and talk about it. Just uh, share, what, share what I feel about this particular situation. So yes, today we are talking about is, are there any more marriage role models? Um, is marriage even an end goal? So unless of course you've been on another planet or under a rock someplace, there has been quite a number of revelations this year alone regarding separations um, or divorces that are in, are in the process of. And I'm talking about primarily our celebrity community. Um, and why, why that, why and how that affects us as just, you know, regular people, common folk, as they call it. So here's the thing, when you have two people that come together and they have status, they are of a particular bracket. And so as society, we look upon these people, well not I, but many people look upon these people as, wow, this is the it couple. You know, sort of like the Ben and Jen type situation. I've talked about them before. Luckily, fortunately, they're still going strong because I guess they realized what was actually lacking and they corrected the problem. Very mature, very proud of them. But the couples that are in question, and there's quite a number of them, guys, it's quite disheartening as a relationship coach, you know, someone who studies relationships and connections and human behaviors and that sort of thing, being able to see from the very beginning that this relationship is not going to be successful. Um, and then ultimately that comes to pass. So it's really disheartening to see people strive for something that's, that consists of longevity, yet they have this temporary mindset or they're not equipped for the marriage life. So when I see people like, you know, the Tiana Taylors and Jeezy and his wife and Kevin Costner and Tina knows there's like so many of them right now that are going through this process of being apart from someone they made vows with. You know, it, it just makes you wonder who do we have to look up to now for just a marriage lifestyle? Our parents weren't that successful, most of us. And if your parents were together, they probably were in more of a toxic relationship, more staying together for the kids type thing. Um, rarely there is a marriage that is unified with love and it's, and, it's, and it's strong. So who do we look forward to? And and so here here's the issue and the concern that I have with, with marriage. Not that I'm against it, not at all, because I believe in love infinity. If you're going to love someone, if you're going to bring someone into your life, your end goal should be togetherness like forever until. That's the mindset you should have. And to solely love this person, just who they are. When you get married, you are in that state of mind, or you should be in the state of mind of acceptance, not trying to change. And today, when I look at these outcomes, it's like, okay, wow, this couple is getting divorced. What could possibly have been their issues? There's a plethora of issues now from past traumas and disappointments, uh, abandonment, uh, abusive tendencies and addictions, just low self-worth. And it's, there's so many things that people and harbor within and they don't share that they don't work on that 
for themselves so that they could be the greatest person for someone else. And that's what's happening, I think. Now, I, as much as I want to say that people are brought together, you know, I don't know, fate, whatever they call it, but it definitely is not, I promise you the most high is not looking down and saying, oh wow, I want these two people to be together. One has very lustful tendencies and prone to infidelity, and the other is, I don't know, spoiled and selfish. I want these two people to come together and be united as one and have a family and live happily ever. That's bullshit. People marry for other reasons outside of the sole purpose of a union, which is love. Love is so, look, most people can't even give you a definition of what love is because their relationship is so cluttered with other things. You know, they're marrying for money, for status, to show off their new dress, their friends, their house, have little kids running around just to have like a fit. There are so many people, in my opinion, that I feel should never even be in a relationship. Period. Should never even step foot in any sort of committed connection because they're damaged. They're prideful, egotistical, sociopathic. They're liars. They're cheaters. There are so many types of people that are getting married for whatever purpose, just for the, I don't know, but why? Because they don't want to sin. They don't want to have sex. And oh, I'm a sinner now. So let's just get married. So, you know, we don't have to worry about that. But you sin in other ways. I just don't understand that. So who does our young people today have to look up to? If they're looking at a younger couple uh, being separated, who has great influence over, you know, a culture. And they're saying that, hey, these... These two people have been together for quite some time. You know, Remy Ma Papoose. I'm like, whoa, 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 no, that can't be true. I, I don't want to believe that. It's not factual yet, but it's out there. The streets are talking. You understand what I'm saying? So it just makes you wonder, like, what does it take to have a couple, just one couple, be a representation of what real love is? It's really seen, and, and the reason why it's probably hidden, <laughs> which is very smart today, is because once you put your love out there, people will find ways to tear it apart. So for those of you who are in successful unions and you and your person are one, you know, no issues, very little, and you know how to, you know how to speak to each other, you know, you know how to treat each other. And if you have this sacred bond to where no one is intervening and you have no distractions and interruptions, kudos. I commend you. Keep it just the way it is. Because what's happening is the lack of influence that we have to just to have the desire to say, oh, I want to have what they have, you know? People from the outside can see when someone has a real marriage that's genuine and wholesome and, and healthy. You understand what I'm saying? It is a rarity. So it's, it's quite concerning and disheartening to see all of these couples failing right before our eyes. Like, just Google it. Don't take my word for it. <laughs> Do your own research. And you will see the number of people this year, couples alone, that are in the process of splitting apart indefinitely. All right. So I, I just want I just wanted to share that with you guys, like the importance of marriage. If you're thinking about marriage, think about it in the sole purpose of wanting to have a bond with someone. Nothing else. No distractions. No uh, materialisms. You know, because once you start fighting about money, you're going to end up in the same predicament as these celebrities having to pay out 18 grand a month. <sighs> a month. <laughs> yes. 
all those things that you're trying to acquire and trying to have to keep a happy home and a happy family, you end up fighting for in the very end. And it will destroy you. It can if you're not strong enough to overcome. So yeah, I just wanted to share this video with you because it's it's just like an uprise with separations and divorce and people just not taking it seriously. People aren't taking themselves seriously. People aren't healing. People aren't trying to go to that place to where they have peace within. When you're peaceful within, no one or no thing can touch that. So naturally, you will attract someone who has that same energy, that same spirit. And that is what creates a divine and wholesome marriage. Remember, we only attract what we exude. Okay? So if you're attracting chaotic and trauma, that's what you're going to get. Because you have to heal and take care of that within to attract the opposite. Okay? All right, guys. I don't want this to be too lengthy. Just thought I'd share this with you. My thoughts. <sighs> yeah. All right. If you need further coaching, all of my information will be linked down below. As always, I thank you for joining me. Until next time.